in it. So I'm just walking y'all through the process of, you know what I'm saying, doing the time and chain. Today we got to take everything on this front portion off, including the covers. He got these covers too for the water pump and then the tensioner. Um, the AC compressor has to come off. The bracket that holds it has to come off. I think the alternator, everything pretty much has to come off. So this whole entire front portion is exposed. You also have to take off the intake manifold and then I'm doing the valve covers while I'm at it. So with that being said, let's get into this portion of the video. So we're starting with these. These are 10 millimeter um, bolts all the way around. Most of the bolts on the front of this plate are 10 millimeters, but we're going to start with that. I'm also, while I'm at it, probably going to start with the intake manifold as well. Just getting that off. I do have a bolt that's stripped in it somewhere. I don't recall where, but one of them is stripped somewhere in here. So I'll have to, you know what I'm saying, get that out. But aside from that, let's get to it. Next step of this process, I'm just going ahead and I'm draining all the oil out. So, you know, we'll be able to access everything and then I'll start tackling taking components off of the front of the engine and we'll move accordingly so I went ahead and loosened the tensioners one right here you also got another one right there on the bottom side so that's the idler pulley this is also an idler pulley you release the tension off you can take the belts off in order to do the timing assembly you have to take the oil pan off and loosen the two front bolts to the main side so I'm starting by just dropping that uh the oil cover or the oil pan and get into that that's where I'm at now so at this point all we've done since the very last clip we got the upper and lower um, plenum off of the intake so if the intake is exposed be careful not to drop anything down these holes I'll probably use mask and take the cover just to make sure but next we're taking off the valve covers and within taking off the valve covers this is important because you have to make sure that the engine is top dead center in order to take the timing assembly off. So next I'm tackling these valve covers. So it's the next next day and we still rolling with this um to be honest with you as you can see from the sky it's been raining all day but i was determined to get this done before the end of the year so i'm back at it again you know what i'm saying i got it covered up right now i got the engine exposed but i threw a tarp over the inside i'm not going to take it apart but if it does manage to stay clear for long enough i'll go ahead and jump back on the time and chain itself um jumping back to that you guys are gonna see it i did get the front timing cover plate off right now i'm just cleaning up the maiden surfaces everything that's gonna mate to the block so you see i got my little wire wheel going and i'm just cleaning out all the internal getting all the brown stuff off getting all of the gasket off so i'll have a good seal when i finish up with it but until then stay tuned stay posted and we're gonna finish this up I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but as you can see, I just got the front. Well, this is the rear plate, but I cleaned the front as well. And right now I'm just about to get the bushing in for the crankshaft. Um, just make sure you lube it up. Use some sort of grease. Make sure you lube it and then just press it in the back way. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy J-Lo here. And we are back with another episode of Doing the Time and Chain on Miss Geneva right here. Um, so I realized I've made a lot of progress and I didn't record a lot of it because I've been trying to get it out of the way But if you look inside it's parts everywhere my door is locked of course But parts everywhere I got the subframe off I took the cold air off a bunch of sensors and whatnot I've taken the whole front end off I'm gonna take this tarp off and show y'all what I'm working with now So since the last time you saw her of course I've taken the entire front assembly off I've taken both of the valve covers off I've taken the intake manifold off and I've gone ahead and replaced this side. I'm not gonna touch this side because it never really gave me any issues. That was the problem tensioner on that side. So this is the one I was really the most concerned about. Um, I'm still gonna go up, clean up all of that, 
debris right there. I also, I've done the bottom one already, the gallery guide. So I'm gonna do the top one as well. Knock that out. And then I'll probably put the main chain back on. The water pump looks exceptional, spotless. There's nothing to that. And I'm also gonna clean around just the bottom where you see all this extra buildup and debris. And we're gonna take it from there. What's up YouTube? We back at it again. This is like day, I think three or four. And a lot of it I didn't record because I just been trying to get this done. You know what I'm saying? Before the first of the year. So let me show you what I got so far. Moving around to the front. You see, we have everything in the time and assembly back together. All that's left now is the valve covers I have to finish putting on, tighten them down. Um, intake manifold also has to go back on. And then right now what I'm working on is just the oil pan. I'm going to get that cleaned up, get the gasket removed off of both surfaces, reseal it, and then uh, it'll just about be ready. I have all the fluids and whatnot. So once I do this point, or once I get to this point, um, I'm just going to, you know what I'm saying, burp the cooling system, make sure there are no air bubbles in it put some oil back in it so it doesn't grenade you know what i'm saying and uh in theory we should have a running vehicle again but we won't know until we get to that point so uh without further ado let's get into it Jumping back into it, you know, I got the oil pan all cleaned up now. I just went under. I don't know if the camera will pick up, but you see I got the entire mating surface of that cleaned off as well. And uh, about to put the two long bolts back in. Y'all don't forget that. That's a very important point. You got the long one and the shorty right there. Don't forget to throw those back in and you're gonna have a bad day. But let's get to that point. this is a real meme moment so i was under here and i had lost this earlier lo and behold a 10 millimeter <laughs> i didn't think that i'd get this back but we found it and just like that <clears throat> we got the oil pan back on everything's tightened put the gasket around it so we got to let that set while that's setting we just got the top part to cover and then we're out of here we're out of here. If y'all know, I've been messing with this car for like the last three years, dog. And I feel like I just finally figured out what's wrong with it. So, fingers crossed. We ain't quite to the finish line yet, but keep them fingers crossed. As you can see now, we got the valve covers back on. The bottom is sealed. All that's left now is this intake plenum. And we should be rocking and rolling. Also got to put the spark plugs back in. I did forget. So, spark plugs, upper intake, you know what I'm saying? And we're good. All right, so we ran into sort of a dilemma. I went ahead and put the upper or just the intake manifold on and realized that we are still missing the spark plugs and I cannot seem to locate what I did with them. So this is kind of just a stopping point we're at. I've tore the whole inside of the car apart looking for it, couldn't find it. I, you know, torn it to the personal vehicle, also couldn't find it. So we're just on the hunt to find those right now. When I find it, I'll get back to y'all. Man, I had to make a run to O'Reilly's to get some more because I just, I do not know what I did with them. I misplaced them somewhere, but we got some more. So I'm going to throw these in, get that intake plenum on, get everything fastened up and secure and start adding fluids to it. So let's do it. As y'all can see, we got it all the way back together. I got to put the cold air intake back on, but it's back together. Had a lot of people doubt with me, but hey, suck on this, bitches. And we got everything back together. I'm about to throw some fluids in it, top off the coolant, put some uh, oil in it, and see if she fires up. So right now is the moment of truth. I'm about to put some oil in it and set y'all up right here and try to start it. Moment of 
I hope so. My only concern is leaks. <laughs> yeah, I'm just as scared as you are. I had to redo this intro a couple times my camera died one of the times and other times i was just frustrated but as you can see i did get the car started the car is functional it moves everything it's supposed to but the check engine light is still there believe it or not so the issue still persists i did do a little bit more investigating and for some reason there is still slack in that secondary tensioner chain um I should note that that was an OEM tensioner that I used, but it was not new. It said like new, but it was used in an application, I'm assuming, before. And I think the only route that I'm going now, um, that came from eBay. I may just go through Z1 or Nissan itself and buy the tensioner, but I have to do the whole process over again of taking the timing off and redoing everything. So uh, don't you just love cars, man? um it sucks but we do got more content coming i did go and buy another car so y'all will see that um i think y'all get a kick out of that i've been trolling on my instagram if you've been on my instagram go follow me at underscore i am justice uh, all together but i've been trolling over there everybody's trying to figure out what i bought y'all are gonna laugh when you see it because it is pretty funny ironically but it's your boy j lo signing off we got more content coming for old shorty but you know between a new car and that that should keep me busy um i love y'all it's been real and it's your boy j-lo signing off peace